everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a monthly favourites for you. I've never done one on my channel before but I've got lots of things that I've been loving in the month of August and I thought I'd share them with you. So the first thing that I've been loving in the month that I've been using quite a bit is this Radox bath soap. This is in the scent Lavender and Water Lily. It comes in this little cute bottle with these lavender, lavender water lily images on and this lovely purple colour. I put a little bit into my bath, I only put a little bit because it really does really bubble up. And then I sit and I soak in the bath for about half an hour, I come out and I'm so relaxed and I go really sleepy, I'm one of these people that lavender really does put me to sleep and I absolutely love it, it's brilliant. And the thing is, this is only a couple of pounds so it's really good and it's really value for money so I love this. Another favourite is a candle, now I'm not really the massive candle lover like a lot of people are but my best friend bought me a candle for my birthday in July and I have been burning it ever since I've been really enjoying it and it's the Yankee candle in sweet apple and honestly it does just smell like an apple that's been rolled in sugar then that's just been kind of lit over a fire that's literally what it smells like oh it's really nice <laughs> and um, my boyfriend often says that he comes into the house and it literally just, just stinks of apples so it works and it does the job. I have been burning this for, I don't know, since since July I guess and it's now the beginning of September and I'm like this way through so I'm only about halfway through it. It's amazing, it lasts for ages and it's really pungent and it's actually really started to get me in the festive spirit. Is that weird? Has anyone else got this kind of Christmas feeling or just me? But I've been absolutely loving it. Another smelly favourite is a perfume and I've been wearing this so much over the month of August and it is Lover Dose by Diesel. Um, this was given to me as a Christmas present and it kind of just sat in the drawer and then I fancied just changing my perfume one day. It comes in this bottle. Look at this, isn't this beautiful? It's purple, one of my favourite colours. It looks like a diamond in the shape of a heart. And it's lovely, I absolutely love it. It's really strong, it's oh, pungent, and then it just lasts all day. And I've had so many compliments about, oh, you smell nice, oh, you smell nice. So, I don't know if they mean that I usually stink and I smell like poo, but I'm taking it as a compliment. A film favourite of mine has been Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. This is the 1995 edition with Colin Firth and oh I have now got a massive crush on Colin Firth. I mean I am 24 so you know there is a bit of an age gap but I really kind of fancy him and it's really weird and now I'm just watching everything with Colin Firth in it but honestly I have watched this probably about I don't know 10 times over in the last month which is probably a bit weird and a bit crazy but I like to watch it before bed um, yeah I just love it I mean the story is amazing anyway plus you've got Colin Firth and yeah he's beautiful so I'll just put it down now sticking with the Jane Austen theme another favorite of mine has been a picture book a coloring book whatever you want to call them now when I was a kid, the best thing about school for me was the colouring in bit. I absolutely loved colouring in. When I was at, um, I think it was middle school, in RE we did a lot of colouring in, so RE became my favourite subject to take at school. I loved it, just for the colouring in aspect. And now, now that I'm an adult and colouring in has become acceptable and it's become cool, I'm all over it. So I picked up, now I actually picked this up like last year, but it's, it's only within the last kind of month that I've been really loving it. And it's this Pictora English Country Home by Anne Yvonne Gilbert. And it's absolutely beautiful. And it, it's about the Regency period, basically. And it folds out, ooh, it folds out, it's massive. Ooh. And it's all this to colour in. And then on the back of each picture, it discusses kind of um, Jane Austen, her work and the balls and, and different aspects like that. Different aspects about Jane Austen, about her life. And I'll show you my colouring in. Please don't judge me. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know if it's meant to be Darcy, that one. But that's the colouring in that I've done so far. I absolutely love it. 
Um, I think my favourite one out of all these pictures is probably these ones. Those are my favourite. I love the tea at the back. I love the, the woman reading and yeah, I just love the man kind of chilling at the back. I think that's really cool. Um, if you're interested in purchasing this, I'll leave a link for it down in the description bar below. I'll try and find it somewhere because this is awesome and you know, I can't wait to colour more in. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do the rest of today. And finally, it wouldn't be Lil's Vintage World without a vintage favourite. So my vintage favourite for the month is this. Now this is a little compact. It was actually given to me by my aunt. She very kindly gave it to me. And it opens up and it's got a little mirror here. Here. Um, pull this back. Open it up. And there's the compact with powder still inside. I don't know if you can see the powder kind of residue that's still there. But I love the smell of it. Does anyone else smell old compacts or is it just me being weird? <laughs> but I love this. I've been putting it on my dressing table. It sits really nicely here. I love the kind of 50s, late 50s kind of aspect about it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's teeny tiny. It fits really well in my handbag as well. I'm just loving it. So those are my favourites for the month. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what was your favourite thing that you enjoyed over the month and I shall see you soon for the next video. Take care. Bye.